uh, let's see how this is uh, this uh, ups is consuming uh, the power from the battery so first uh, let's see the multimeter how how to configure that one so we are going for dc ampere measurement so i need to go for the maximum first 10 ampere so if i go for ampere i need to make sure this uh, red color one connected to the 10 uh, adc or unfused mode not to the milliampere mode because if it is more than this particular 200 million uh, milliampere range the fuse may go out so first i have to test with this one then if the current is very low only i need to jump to this uh, small scale and measure anyway this is going to be a very large uh, power consumption so i am going for the 10 ampere first and we'll check so currently i switch on a light uh, through this uh, ups supply so that is somewhere 20 watts 240 voltage light um, so let's see how to make the circuit and check it simply what we have to do if it is ampere rate test we have to go for um, this this uh, multimeter should be part of the power supply so let's i'm trying to show that so i will remove this clip so it will switch off it's it's gone off then i need to connect the plus side where the electricity is going inside so first let's connect this one this is the electricity go out that is a minus part then hope you can see this one multimeter then i need to go and connect uh, this plus with the batteries plus terminal so i'm going to use that one so once i connect it there will be a light up So there, there was a loose connection so we'll let's try so it's switching on then the power supply going on now light is working you can see it's almost 2.9 amperes not 3 closer to 2.9 so I will stop now again switch on the fan with the light then let's see how many amperes it's consuming So the fan also on, light also on mode. So I'm going to connect it again. Let's see how it goes. Switch on. You can see it's more than 2.9. 3. Point, it's even 4. 4.8 ampere it's going. So we can see how much power it's drawing from the battery. Even 5 amperes. Uh, while I'm doing I should be careful because it's electrocuting I don't know why the shock is coming but it's happening so next test I'm going to do whether this is charging back when we are um, uh, in the power supply to do that one I am testing whether minus power will be shown here so if it is showing the minus power then it will be uh, in a proper connection when it's charged it will be reverse so let's test that one So we can see it's going to minus if the current is going in a opposite direction. So let's uh, go for a charging mode and see whether it's really charging and how many ampere it is charging. Now the battery in the charging mode. So I connected uh, the temporarily uh, the multimeter with the uh, ampere reading. Um, so here the uh, negative side and from the battery positive side so now based on this fan uh, it's supposed to show negative value in ampere because the power should be delivered from uh, ups to multimeter so see here this is somewhere 0.6 um, ampere uh, charging happening because it's see it's a minus value so let's go and uh, switch off the uh, UPS, not UPS actually, you switch off the power supply to UPS so it will go to power consuming mode now you can see that is turning to 0.4 ampere there is no appliance connected to UPS 
just to keep this ideal even it is trying to draw the power somewhere 0.6 ampere so it's almost closer to the charging power it will take it back if we didn't switch off the ups so let's switch off the ups and see what happening now i switch off the ups now it's 0.06 ampere taken now it's going to zero so actually it's something like a computer that was shutting down so that uh, doesn't take uh, power out so ideally what we have to do if we are using the ups and uh, if, if ups connected to power supply if power supply goes off we need to make sure the ups power button is off otherwise even though we didn't use that one almost equivalent to so something like two third of the charging power is taken back from the battery so battery will drain out for no reason so i'm again switching on the power supply but the ups is off now still it is charging uh, the battery but ups in the off mode so now it's not consuming uh, uh, power but it's charging if power goes off battery will be uh, in a neutral state it won't uh, consume power back so if we are not using in this setup we better keep the ups in off mode because it's not the purpose of uninterrupted power supply only to use as a backup power supply so we just keep the power button off but let it charge um, then this will survive for example this is a 35 ampere battery so if you do a direct calculation even we need to go for more than 35 hours to charge this so it's inefficient anyway if it is daily power cut one hour charging but like we will take back very faster so we need a separate charger to quickly charge this battery uh, that's one of the thing we have to note here let's do a final test round i am having the fan also switch on here this fan then the multimeter is there so charging in the same way even though i am taking the power from the fan from the ups uh, charging is happening uh, in the same way so now what i have to do um, i need to switch off the power supply and see how it change while i am consuming it so i switch off the power supply now you can see for even the 20 watts mini fan this is uh, 240 volt 20 fa watts fan that is consuming 2.6 amperes or 2.6 12 so it's, it's consuming more than 20 watts because the UPS also needs some power to run so it's supposed to when, when I'm switch offing the fan we'll, we'll switch off the fan now so when I switch off the fan that's consuming almost 0.4 ampere so UPS itself is wasting the current which is almost two-third of the charging power so it's one of the risky part is there now one more test I am switching on the fan now it's consuming 2.1 ampere fan in the first speed so it have two speed fan so first speed 2 point somewhere one and I'm increasing to, to second speed 2.6 so reducing the speed of the fan also will save some sort of uh, current so we can extend the durability so complete test done this will anyway charge the battery so PS, but not efficiently um, again this battery can be utilized to power the pump for a long time so only thing is we need to go for a additional charger that's all